What's up, friends, kids? This month's series is called State Your Faith, and I'm your main man, AJ to the uh, 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 Dean, and this lovely gentleman next to me is John Fuentes, a.k.a. Johnny Fountain. Yes, guys, welcome to State Your Faith, where we get to teach you through the lens of sports and stories from the Bible how you can state your faith in any circumstance and anywhere. Yes, we will be talking about how important it is to follow Jesus and why it's important to state your faith. Yeah, we have an amazing story to you in the world of football. So there's a team, the Philadelphia Eagles, and they had a quarterback named Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz was an amazing quarterback. He was one of the better players in the entire league, and they were going to grant him the best Best award he could possibly get, and that is the MVP award. He was leading his team to win successful game after successful game, and he made sure to give all his glory to God. Yep. Well, the crazy thing is, three with three games left in the regular season, Carson Wentz suffered a season-ending knee injury. Yeah, he tore a muscle in his knee, which means that he could no longer play, and it seemed as if the Philadelphia Eagles had no shot of winning the championship. Yeah. Well... They had their backup quarterback, whose name is Nick Foles, who actually came to Friends Church a few few years ago, I believe. Mm -hmm. And he came in and took on the challenge for Carson Wentz to help lead this team to victory. And that's exactly what happened. Nick Foles led this Philadelphia Eagles team to win the yeah. Super Bowl, which is, which is the, the professional football championship. And he did it by not only leading them on the field, but he was also an example and, and led by example of, of giving the glory to God. Yeah. Both he and Wentz were devout Christians, and he made sure to give the glory to God in everything that he did and everything that he said to the guys in the locker room, to interviews, to his coaches all the time. Nick Foles took on Carson Wentz's challenge and stepped up and won for the Eagles. Wow, such an inspiring story. That actually has me thinking about a story that can teach us all a very important lesson. And the headline for today is Jesus Accepts Our Challenge. Yeah, I love this story. We, we find it in Mark chapter 8, and, and we find Jesus faced with a very serious challenge. Let's read and see what happens. Mark 8, 31 through 38. Jesus then began to teach his disciples. He taught them that the Son of Man must suffer many things. He taught them that the elders would not accept him. The high chief priest and the teachers of the law would not accept him either. He must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke clearly about this. Peter took Jesus to one side and began to scold him. Jesus turned around and looked at his disciples. He scolded Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You are not thinking about the things God cares about. Instead, you are thinking only about the things humans care about. Jesus called the crowds to him along with his disciples. Whoever wants to be my disciple must say no to themselves. They must pick up their cross and follow me. Whoever wants to save their life will lose it. But whoever loses their life for me and for the good news will save it. What good is it if someone gains the whole world but loses their soul? Or what can anyone trade for their soul? Suppose anyone is ashamed of me and my words among these adulterous and sinful people. Then the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. It must have been so difficult for Jesus to have to accept that he was going to die on the cross, especially because he didn't deserve to. But that was the only way that we could live with him in heaven forever. Yeah, Jesus accepted the challenge. And now it's our turn to accept a challenge too. And that's to serve and follow Jesus. And sometimes we, we face challenges that are so hard that we can't do it by ourselves. But we have a Savior that will accept that challenge on our behalf. Which actually reminds me of a story that happened to me a little while ago. The Real Deal. A few years ago, I was playing basketball, and I was on the city team, and I was the leading scorer for this team. And this was one of the most craziest years because we had the opportunity to be the first team from our city to make the championship. Yeah, we had it. We were going. And so in the game, leading up to the championship, there's about a few minutes left. I got the ball, and I score a basket to get us within three points. And so I'm thinking, oh, we're definitely going to win this game. And as I am guarding the defender, I fall and hurt my ankle. 
Yeah, I was terrified. I knew I couldn't get up. I knew I was out for the rest of the game. So my best friend, who was on the bench at the, at the moment, he says, AJ, I got your back. He comes in, plays the greatest defense of his life, and scores a three-pointer to tie us up and go into overtime. And we end up winning the game because of his contribution. He took on the challenge for me and won it for our team. Wow. Yeah. What, what an Inspiring. amazing story. Your teammate was there when you needed him the most. Yeah. When you were at your lowest point, when you couldn't go on, when there was nothing you could do about it, your teammate stepped in and took on the challenge for you. Yeah. And that that's exactly reminds me of our story of Jesus today where, where Jesus took on our challenge. Oh. There, there is no way that we could bear that much pain. And, and Jesus knew that, and so he stepped up and he took on that challenge for us. Yeah. Jesus always takes on that challenge for us. And he loves us so much that he's always going to be in our corner. He's going to show himself to be there in the midst of our pain, our, our struggles, all the hard things that are happening in life. And again, he loves us so much that he will take on the burdens that we have in our lives. And he'll make sure that when we can't carry them, he'll lift them up and carry them for us. And Jesus carried those burdens and our sins right to the cross because that's the only way that we would be able to live with him. Jesus took on our sins, your sins, the sins of the past and the future. He took it all on himself so that we could be with him. We were supposed to be in that position, but Jesus said, no, I'm going to obey God and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this so that they don't have to because I love them so much. Yeah, and just like Jesus took on our challenge, now it's our turn to answer this challenge. And that's to follow and serve Jesus. Mm -hmm. See, he is there for us always. He loves us and cares for us. And all he wants us to do is walk alongside with him on this journey of life. So now the ball is in our court. We have to make that decision. Yeah, and if you've never made a decision like this, th this decision to follow Jesus for the rest of your life, it's a very simple one. And what you're saying is, is that you believe that everything in the Bible is true. You believe that Jesus came to earth, died on the cross for your sins and rose on the third day. And what it means to accept Jesus is you accept him into your heart and you truly believe that and you love him and you're able to, to just be so much more joyful and have hope for a future with him. And so we're going to pray. And if, you, if you've never prayed this prayer, you can repeat after me if you want to make that decision, if you want to accept that challenge of, of becoming Jesus' forever friend. And so we're going to pray and you can repeat after me. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Repeat after me. Say, Dear Lord, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins on the cross and rose on the third day. I turn away from my sins, and I invite you to come into my life. I love you, Lord. Amen. Amen. John, that was a beautiful prayer, man. And we really hope that you guys take on the challenge of following Jesus. And with that being said... This case is closed, but now it's your turn. Yeah, we want to hear if you guys made a decision to follow Jesus today. So let us know. Yeah. If you love sports and all things Jesus, make sure you always state your faith. And we'll see you next time in Friends Kids. Yeah.